back everybody it's so nice to see you and if you're new here hi my name is Nikki it is so nice to meet you in the back is my pup switch he is my companion and travels with me so for this week's adventure we are going to the Oregon coast and it is a very very rainy cold brutally windy day um, <laughs> here on the coast but we just came from same Perpetua Trail, which ended up being two and a half miles in length. We hit about 1,500 feet of elevation, and it took us about an hour and 20 minutes. And I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but I always seem to find trails that have a lot of elevation. For the first half, it's just like all uphill, and then the way back is obviously all downhill, which was fine I definitely preferred that way I have been on trails where it's all downhill and then the way back is all uphill and that's kind of like treacherous because you've already been walking for like an X amount of time but there was like this uh, viewpoint at the end of the trail that you got to see over over part of the national forest and then it overlooked into the um, ocean and let me tell you the waves are raging right now they are just really really intense waves they're super pretty but because it's such a stormy day they're just like huge and really really cool looking so that was super pretty um, I wouldn't say it was one of my favorite trails just because there wasn't really much to it but oh well you don't know until you go right so that's okay <laughs> so now we are at the China Creek Loop Trail which is three and a half miles long about and it says that the expected elevation is, elevation is 272 feet but I don't always um, you know trust that because the last trail all trails said that the expected elevation was like 732 but it ended up being like 1500 so it can be way off sometimes <laughs> And, and and this is a very lightly trafficked loop. I'm not really sure what we're going to see. I can't remember uh, what it is that I saw in the photos uh, before coming here and I don't have great signal so it's not going to load. So I am really excited. I hope you enjoy this trail as much as you do and let's get to it. Let's see what this trail is all about.
Okay, so I am completely drenched. My, it started raining a lot harder once we got on the trail and my jacket that I was wearing, it's water resistant, not waterproof, but I, I mean, I knew that going into it though. Um, so yeah, I eventually soaked through. Um, obviously here's like the lighter color of my shirt that's dry and then like the darker color and that's like totally soaked. And my jeans are totally soaked, my socks and my shoes are soaked. Um, but it was a very pretty trail and we ended up, I think it was a salamander, but we ended up meeting a little friend on the trail and he was super friendly or she, I picked him up put them on my leg and took some selfies of them. <laughs> uh, so all of those behind the scenes kind of sneak peek footage, I guess, uh, is on my Instagram photography page, raw footage photography, which will be linked in the description below. If you're not uh, following me on Instagram. I don't have the access to the community tab on YouTube yet. So anytime there's an announcement, like a new video drop, or if there's a delay in a video drop for some reason, it's going to get posted on my Instagram story and any like sneak peek footage or being able to see that little salamander will also be on my Instagram. It will not be in the videos. And so if you're not following me there, if you don't want to miss any announcements and also if you want, if you're interested at all in my photography, then you know that's where it's all going to get posted is on my photography Instagram page which again is in the description below. So we also ended up seeing a little baby bunny and uh, did not get a video of him though or her because we spooked it and so it was it was interesting because it was already kind of hidden away but I guess it thought it could, we could see it. I would never have known it was there if it didn't like bolt out of this bush and across the way into the forest and it was super cute and yeah so this trail ended up being 2.3 miles long not super long and we only were on it for an hour because I was getting cold switch was getting cold and it's just like raining super hard so I was just kind of ready to be done and obviously I'm soaked so I just didn't want to be soaked anymore and it ended up, it ended up being 712 feet so almost double what it had originally said I believe and we were on there for an hour and it was super pretty it reminded me of like kind of like a Japanese forest not Japanese forest, Japanese garden we have one in Portland and it has a lot of those like mossy kind of weird shaped trees and the moss like hangs down and stuff like that it was a lot of those kind of trees and I love that it's just like so pretty because yeah I don't know it's just like super mossy super pretty and it's not cold enough on the I mean it is cold it's not cold enough for the trees to like not have leaves on them and so the predominant of the plants here are very very green and so I still love that. I love that it's almost December and we have a lot of green here still. So, um, so originally I was going to go to the beach uh, because we still have an hour before dark. But because we are drenched and because it's cold and I can tell Switch is kind of done with being outside we're probably just gonna go ahead and head home. It was three hours here and we weren't here. We got here at one and it's now four. So we're only here for a few hours, but I honestly didn't even check the weather to see what the weather was going to be like. I don't really care if I am hiking and adventuring in the rain, snow, or sunshine. Uh, so because in Oregon it rains all the time here So if you wait to do anything when it's not raining then you're going to be stuck inside all the time because it's like three quarters of our year So I just don't really check the weather anymore, but 
If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like it, because it does help the channel and lets me know that you are enjoying the content I am putting out. And if you haven't already, you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video every single week that I post on Fridays. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know places you want to visit, mostly on the West Coast because that is where I am currently located. And but I'm also wanting to keep I also want to keep a list of places to see all around the US and around the world as well because I do eventually plan on going overseas. So let me know places that you're interested in, have been to or haven't been to but want to go to um, but like can't go to or just haven't gone to yet and I will showcase it for you guys and I am very interested to see what you guys are interested in and I would love to have a solid community and a solid communication between us. So I look forward to hearing from you guys and I will see you next Friday. Bye.